Hi, Bob here with FLIR. If you've seen the i7 and you like what you saw, but you're going to be using your thermal camera fairly frequently and you need to generate more detailed reports, you really should consider FLIR's E-Series before you buy. E-Series cameras give you room for growth and lots of extra tools to make thermal inspections more effective and efficient. Like a built-in digital camera, this lets you take thermal and visible light images simultaneously, so it's easier to show what needs to be fixed and where. Great for reports. There's an onboard LED lamp and laser pointer so you can illuminate and mark targets in the visual picture. And then there's this high-resolution touchscreen. This is really handy. Just tap it to bring up the menu and all the E-Series analysis tools, like emissivity and other parameters to make sure you're detecting right. Plenty of color palette choices for the best definition a movable spot meter, area box, and so on. This lets you analyze any spot in the image right in the field. By the way, if you're wearing work gloves, you can use these big buttons instead. Manual focus is another thing that's different about the E-Series. It gives you full control to make sure your images are razor sharp, very important for detecting accurate temperatures. E-Series has interchangeable lenses, too. Video out is another unique feature in case you want to feed live images to a monitor so others can view what you're scanning. It's also a good way to review stills and for recording your IR inspections to an outboard device for later playback and documentation. The E30, which is the lowest priced E-Series camera, comes with all of these features. And while its thermal resolution and sensitivity specs are similar to the i7, E30 has a broader temperature range, up to 350C or 662 degrees Fahrenheit. The E40 detects even higher temperatures, up to 1202 degrees Fahrenheit, and with greater sensitivity for better quality images and subtler differences. Being able to see and measure temperatures spiking into these higher ranges is critical, especially when you're trying to determine if mechanical and electrical equipment is too hot to safely stay online. But here's what's really exciting about the E40. Wi-Fi. The E50 and E60 also have it. It's really a pretty incredible communication tool. Just link the camera to your smartphone or tablet with the FLIR Tools mobile app and you're ready to stream live video wirelessly so others can watch along easier from a distance to see what you're finding. Very practical around the plant. Safer too in hazardous areas. The app also lets you import stored radiometric JPEGs from the camera, edit them to adjust levels, change the look, add tools, whatever you need to tune and analyze the images. Even create a simple report on site and send it off in an email. This is huge when you need to share findings with decision makers and repair teams right away because you don't always have time to head back to the office. You can also connect via Bluetooth to a wireless headset to record voice annotations and to XTech meter link equipment so you can embed electrical load data into your thermal images as you capture them. A must-have for measuring more than just temperatures. This is extra information that shows up automatically in reports. Other features? A higher res visible camera and multiple movable in-camera area box and spot meter tools to help you compare more temperatures. Plus, you get picture-in-picture, picture, another good way to reference the location of problems. Now, if you want all this, but you need more than double the thermal resolution and even higher sensitivity, then the E50 is a better fit. Now, of course, more pixel resolution means more detailed thermal images and greater accuracy when you're scanning targets farther away. The E50 also features digital zoom that gets you up to four times closer, plus thermal fusion so you can isolate and blend just the hot or cold areas in the scene. And here, we have the ultimate E-Series camera, the E60. It has all the rich functionality and features we've already covered here, and it has the best thermal imagery of the bunch at 320 by 240. So why would you want 76,800 pixel resolution? Well, for even crisper definition and tighter temperature measurement accuracy. And if your inspections involve a lot of smaller targets farther away, you'll need this extra power. Higher res images also make it that much easier to show what you've found, and they're excellent for marketing purposes. The E60 also has an extra battery and a dual bay charger to keep you up and running all day. As you can see, E-Series gives you a lot more bang for the buck. Now, if you're using thermal imaging all the time, inspecting high and low throughout your day, you really need to check out the T-Series. It's got a unique rotating lens system that makes it way more comfortable to aim overhead and underneath things. Autofocus, MSX image enhancement, up to 640 resolution, the Wi-Fi, and more. 
check them out.